Oh, hello guys, welcome to another Hi. episode of Quiz Me with Krabski. Um, guest natin ngayon ay si Sir Ryan. Sir Ryan. Yes, um, hey. Hi, thank you. Thank you for hey. coming. Na. Pakilala ka naman, Sir Ryan. Anong trabaho mo? Oh, um, I'm Ryan DiCostillo. I'm a Senior Cloud Solutions Architect in Eclaro. And Eclaro. Sir Ryan, uh, certified ka ba? Yes. Uh, ano certifications mo? Um, I have five certifications. Mm-hmm. Uh, first is um, yung Cloud Practitioner. Cloud Practitioner. And then I have those um, three associate certifications. Wow, three associate. Yeah, yes. Um, Developer Associate, SysOps, mm-hmm. and Architecting Associate. Nice, nice. <clears throat> and then I got uh, Security Specialty. Security Specialty. Nako, maganda nga certificate nga yun, no? Uh, anong, uh, sino yung target audience ng Security Specialty? Bakit ka kukuha ng... Well, actually, um, I, I usually take certifications depending mm-hmm. on the requirements. Mm-hmm. So, um, it just so happened that um, before before taking that certification, I was um, planning to choose if I'm going to um, professional, um, architecting professional mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or security. Mm-hmm. And parang sa tingin ko at that time, mm-hmm. um, mas malaki ang requirement ng security mas malaki yung need of, need ng mark ng market yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and and also syempre dun sa dun sa infrastructure mm-hmm. kasi um given given na kasi na um when when you're architecting your you're integrating the security yes part. yes but if uh-huh. if you would focus on the security itself parang mas malaki talaga mas may improve mo pa yung architecting mo na correct focus after all si security lang yung mesa five pillar no wala tayong Reliability specialty, yeah. si security meron daw. Yes. Correct, yes. correct. Sir, yung uh, yung current company mo, alam ko, APN. What is an APN? Um, APN is an Amazon Partner Network. Mm-hmm. So, um, usually there are requirements in order to join APN. Mm-hmm. There are a minimum number of certified um, pro- professionals mm-hmm. um, before, before you can join APN. Mm-hmm. And um, being part of an APN would, would give you um, multiple advantages. Mm-hmm. So, namely, um, you'll get to access certain resources ni AWS. Mm-hmm. So, parang special training, ganun. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, bilang APN, baka lang may magtanong na iba, no? Libre ba ang uh, certification? Bilang APN? Mm-hmm. Well, firstly, um, kailangan may certification ka na before. Ah, oh, oh, tama so, nga pala. Oh, oh. Um, I don't think it's free. Uh, ano yeah. pa rin there, there, are, uh, there are certain um, other perks. Yeah. Trainings na free. May no offer mm. nila. I'm, I'm not sure long this is free. I see. I see. Okay. So sir, um, kung napanood nyo na to, uh, ang next section natin no, ay magkakaroon natin ng question and answer sa... Hindi na yun sir. Okay lang yan. Uh, uh, uh. By the way guys, ako yung inyong host. Uh, it, wala akong the usual suot pero ito lang, pakita ko lang yung pangalan ko at AWS Community Hero. Ayun. So, handa ka na, sir. Ito. Ito I'll na. Try, I'll try. Let's try. Okay. So, babasahin ko muna yung question, yung first question. Huh? So, first question. You need a configuration management service that will allow your system administrators to use Chef to configure and operate your web applications. Which AWS services would best suit your needs? One, okay. Opsworks. Two, CloudTrail. Three, Trusted Advisor. Four, CloudWatch. Okay, so let's mm. You need a configuration management yes. service that will allow your systems administrator to use Chef, Chef to configure uh, and operate your web applications, which mm-hmm. AWS service would best suit your needs. So, um, sige, basahin natin isa-isa. So, meron kang Opsworks, CloudTrail, Trusted Advisor, and CloudWatch. Mm-hmm. Start tayo sa number four. Number four. So, CloudWatch is used for uh, basically monitoring mm-hmm. your infrastructure. Um, well, number three naman, Trusted Advisor, is a service in AWS that gives you advices in terms of cost, security, okay. and other stuff. Mm-hmm. CloudTrail naman um, is um, an audit auditing tool okay. that gives you all the API calls mm-hmm. in your account. 
And yeah, Opswerk is my answer. Opswerk is your answer. So your answer is number? Number one. Number one. Tingnan natin guys if number one. Okay, here we go. Ayan, number one nga. Sir, para sa mga ating audience, no, kung uh, di lang alam, ano ba ang purpose ng chef? Um, yung chef kasi is like um, Ansible din. Like Ansible, so okay. So, they, they automate certain stuff. So, if, if you're doing something manually, mm -hmm. and um, you're doing it again and again, mm -hmm. you might as well um, configure it in such a way na automated. Yung, so, so configure. Kahit, pwede gamitin si chef to install like a web server. Yeah. To install uh, applications, then yan. Yes. Alright. So, automation siya, guys, for uh, configuration. Uh. Okay, next. Dayo. Okay, this time, sir, ikaw naman magbasa. Sige. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, let's do this, yes. Right. So, for custom CloudWatch metrics, what is the minimum granularity in terms of time that CloudWatch can monitor? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Number one, okay, five again, minutes. One, five minutes. Number two, three minutes. Yeah, I sorry. Tama. Number Tama. number two. Uh, <laughs> number two, three. Number three. Number three, two minutes, and number four, one minute. Uh, so um, usually in default na monitoring mm -hmm. um ni CloudWatch is five minutes, but it can it can go up to one minute. I think it can I go think up to one minute. Pang, ane, mm -hmm. pang, less, eh, kasi I, I've tried to configure mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, CloudWatch agent and yeah, uh, I'm not sure, but it, it can go to um to up to one minute. Mm -hmm. So your answer mo dito ay one minute. One minute. Okay, tina natin guys one minute. Mas malita lang. <laughs> Ayan, tama oh! one minute. Tama. Correct, tama. Actually, tama ka nga sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, five minutes in default, walang bayad, yun yung free, or within the scope, no? Mm -hmm. Yung one minute, uh, detailed monitoring ang tawag doon. So, one minute may bayad na yun, extra. Yung, uh, meron actually, yung sabi mo, less than a minute or seconds, no? Pero yun, uh, application events na yun. So, ipapasa ah, mo yung application events to CloudWatch. Yeah. So, hindi na siya yung the standard, um, yung hypervisor metrics, yeah. ganyan. So, application na yung Lower than one minute. Okay. So, I guess, ibang, ibang, uh, for this cost, uh, case, no, hindi man sabi dito na, ano, baka, kaya one minute lang yung option dito. Okay. Alright, let's try another. Pero so far, so good. Tum, nako, ang iksi. Ako na lang magbasa kayo sa question, ikaw sa answer, no. Amazon S3 provides. Number one, unlimited file size for objects. Number two, unlimited storage. Number three, a great place from which to run a NoSQL database. And then number four, the ability to act as a web server for dynamic content. Yeah. That can query uh, database. So yeah, a sample is sample. a yeah. database. No? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay, Amazon S3. So, ano ba si Amazon S3? So, object storage. Uh, mm -hmm. And... Yeah, so number one is unlimited file size for objects. Alam ko may limit yung yung object size mm -hmm. na ina-upload kay, mm -hmm. um, kay S3. Eh. So in terms of file size, mm -hmm. hindi natin masasabing kaya niyang mag-unlimited file size. Okay, so mali yung number one. Mali yung number one. Yes, kasi 5 terabytes yung maximum yeah. ng file size ng uh, objects natin at some moment. No? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, number two, unlimited storage. Possible. Possible. Possible, okay. Number three, a great place from which to run a NoSQL database. NoSQL. All right, so, I don't think so. So, I, I think there, there are better solutions. For there are better solutions for that NoSQL database. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, number four, the ability to act as a web server for dynamic content. Dynamic content. Hmm. Yeah, usually, um, pwede siyang gawin na static website. Right? Static content. Oo, yeah. hindi dynamic content. Oh. So, I would cross out number four as well. Oh. So, between number two and three, um, I, I would choose two. Two. I, I think for, for number three, um, they've introduced um, AWS Athena, but that is for a SQL 
after you pop uh, your SP mm-hmm. bucket. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I think number two. Lang talaga. Number two, all right. Okay, number two. Tama pa rin. Yes. Kinakabahan. So, <laughs> <laughs> hindi, hindi. Tama naman. Kinakabahan ka. Tama nga lahat eh. Yes, because um, the, there are better places to put your NoSQL. Like uh, we have the Document DB yep. or um, DynamoDB. DynamoDB. Yes, correct. Uh, so, hindi siya the best place to put a NoSQL database. Let's try another one. Yeah, so far, uh, going for... Wait, mahaba to kasi... Okay. Nakita. Okay. Uh, one of your users is trying to upload a 7.5 gigabyte file to S3. However, they keep getting the following error message. Your proposed upload exceeds the maximum allowed object size. Na, na pag-usapan natin a while ago. No, to. What solution to this problem does AWS recommend? Kasi yun nga, kanina, sabi natin mm. S3, 5 terabyte lang. Ah, 5? 5 terabyte ba? So, dapat cache siya to. So, iba yung weird, no? Your proposed upload exceeds the maximum allowed object size. So, ano yung uh, solution daw? Number one. Hindi pa pa. Pero sige, try natin. Mm. Oh, try natin. Alright, sige. Number one, design your application to use the multi-part upload API for all objects. Yeah, I've I've heard that. Mm-hmm. I, I think um you multi part upload is um dun sa AWS CLI, I think mm-hmm. it's it's automatically configured na when when you're uploading files more than 100 MB mm-hmm. they they enable automatically the multi part upload. Okay. Um design your application to use large object upload API for this object. Never heard of that. Para wala walang property um, na ganun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Raise a picket with AWS to increase their maximum object size. Well, you can raise a picket to AWS kung hindi mo alam yung sagot. So, hmm. hindi ko alam ito, magre-raise ako ng picket okay. to AWS. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I, number I'm four. not sure about that. Mm-hmm. Um, number four, log in to S3 console, click on the bucket, and then click properties. You can increase your maximum object size to 1 TB. There's, I, I haven't seen that configuration yet, mm-hmm. so... Um, I, I would go with the multi-part upload. Number okay. one, multi. Number one. Okay, tignan natin. Number one nga ba, guys? Ito na. Ah, yun, tama. Design a multi-part upload nga. Kasi 5 terabytes nga yung maximum, below maximum siya. Hmm. I think, basta one, more than 100, yeah. dapat uh, multi-part upload na nga talaga. Okay, ito, last question na, sir. Ah, dali lang, nang bilis lang, di ba? <laughs> Which class of storage is most appropriate for mission critical data that you only need to access once a year? Hmm. Yan. Mission critical siya. Mission critical, yun yung keyword na nakita mo doon. Uh, pero once a year. Pero once a year lang. Okay. Hmm. Go. Okay. Anong options natin, sir? So, number one, standard S3. Mm-hmm. Number two, one zone in frequent access. Mm-hmm. Number three, infrequent access. Mm-hmm. So IA is infrequent access, by the way. Mm-hmm. And then number four is reduced redundancy. Mm-hmm. So usually, to tell you honestly, mm-hmm. when, when I'm taking certification exams, yes. ito yung pinaka-confusing part sa akin. Ah, I see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't... Now, bakit I don't siya know, confusing? Um, kasi um, yung, meron, meron siya mga keywords na minsan dun sa question na mm-hmm. parang nakakalito talaga. Okay. So, ayun. Anyway, um, let's let's try to answer it. Mm-hmm. So, I, I'll try to base it based on a mission critical siya. Mm-hmm. So, I, I'll try to remove yung infrequent. Ay, sorry, sorry. Yung, 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 yung one zone. One zone? <laughs> Bakit siya hindi pwede pang mission critical? Um, kasi yung, yung file mo nasa mm-hmm. isang, ano lang, isang availability zone lang. Eh. Oh. So, so, kung mag yung one, yung... isang zone na yun, so, hindi na available. Hindi na siya available. Okay. So, yung standard S3, mm-hmm. um, so, there's there's no special configuration there. So, I'm assuming na lahat na availability zone, merong copy yung data mo. Okay. Though, um, sinasabi sa dyan na um, you only need to access it once a year. Mm-hmm. So, I think, kailangan natin i-integrate yung infrequent access mm-hmm. dun sa dun sa sa choices. I see. 
So I I think since I've uh, eliminated the number one and the one zone in frequent access, I need to put in this question number four, no? mm-hmm. reduce redundancy. Um, I think I've heard that. Hindi ko lang nagisip yung pinaka context niya. Uh, R three ang shortcut na tawag dito R three dati. Uh, ah okay. Yeah, I I think I would still go to number number three. Number three. All right, tina natin kung uh, number three nga ba? Tama. Oof. Five out of five, sir. Congrats, sir. <laughs> Uh, actually, yun na yun, ha? Um, but before lang tayo mag-end, uh, gusto ko lang dis- discuss konti itong reduce redundancy, no? Okay. So, bago lumabas yung one zone and one uh, AI, ah, IA and yung IA, uh, meron silang tinatawag na reduce redundancy dati. Um, recommended to for cost. So, babawasan nila yung durability uh, for the cost. Pero over time, yung cost ng standard, mas mababa na kaysa R3 or sa reduced redundancy over time. Kasi sa cost savings na ginagawa ng AWS, economies of scale, bumaba na bumaba yung standard S3. So ngayon, mas mahal pa yung reduced redundancy. Okay. So if nag-inherit kayo guys ng old AWS application, check nyo to. Kasi kung nagko-convert pa rin kayo ng thumbnails into reduced redundancy, mas mahal actually yun kaysa standard S3. So, parang counterintuitive, mm-hmm. no? Sa mga old AWS applications, huwag nyo i-reduce redundancy. Mas gamitin nyo na lang yung standard S3, no? Kung yun yung iniisip natin. Or, move nyo na sa one zone IA. Yeah. Instead na reduce redundancy. And, and I think um, there's also yung parang, I saw this configuration, eh, parang integrate nila yung AI yes, with S3. Yes, correct. So, may storage class din tayo called um, S3 Intelligent Tiering. Mm-hmm. So, based ng history ng access ng ating file or object, siya na bahala kung ililipat niya sa standard S3, one zone, or sa IA. Uh, I think, kas- ibang policy naman yung Glacier. Yeah. Okay. So, Uh, I guess, wala sa option yung Glacier dito kasi baka kailangan mo ng immediate need kasi mission yeah. critical na, no? Uh-huh. Yep. Ayun, guys. So, yan yung uh, explanation dito sa S3. Okay, so, bago tayo mag-end, sir, um, ang tanong ko lang sa'yo is, uh, what's next for you? Uh, next, mag bound certification ka ba? Or, uh, <laughs> yeah, what's next for you and your company? Alright, so, For me first, so mm-hmm. um actually uh so b- before I was uh, trying to um get na yung ano yung uh, architecting professional mm-hmm. um but yung kasi ane I, I um naging father na ako no, ah, just, well, just con- June lang congrats um, congrats ah uh, oh and it it really takes a lot of time ah. and I, I would really like to enjoy having kids. Wow, congrats sir. Congrats um, doon. Uh-huh. Thank you. Um, so, uh, medyo dinifer ko muna. Mm-hmm. Though, I'm, I'm still enjoying yung, yung journey of having those certifications. Mm-hmm. Um, either pumasa ka man or hindi. Mm-hmm. Ang, ang important dun is um, you've learned it. So, yun yung pinaka-target ko ngayon is more on learning mm-hmm. and yung, yung certification is more on going I see. Yeah. All right. Okay. So thank you guys for uh, listening in and watching. No, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> no. Also comment. Don't forget. Okay. So yeah. bye guys. Bye. Yeah. Thanks guys.